So you're going to make the round so people can come out and see you. As we wrap up, I know that you are busy and that you have moved on in life. And I am so excited for this book because I've read most of it, but it doesn't... Well, no, just as we wrap up, I just want to, no, there's no drama or anything, but it has to be like, okay, listen, the ratings for New York are down. That's all around the world. That's been in every headline. The ratings are very far down. And here we go. A ton. I'm not saying it. Everybody online is saying this is because Dorinda is not there, period. It's blogs. I mean, your Google alerts must be going off. Do you agree with that? And does that feel at least a little bit nice, David? Well, listen, you know, what's been nice is that, you know, we got to remember too, I'm not, not being, but it was COVID. It was a tough season to film. You know, it's one thing to do COVID filming when you're in Beverly Hills or New Jersey or stuff. You have all that outdoor space. You got to remember we as New York girls, that's what we do. New York and people and restaurants. So I have to say, although I'm incredibly pleased that you know people miss me and it's so nice to see all you know all those memes and everything I I I can't take full credit I do think it was a tough year just it it is a tough year and um you know but I can't say much about that because I'm on pause like a good memorix tape I'm on pause I love how you refer to it as pause well that's how they refer to it (laughs) you're on pause well the door that means the door is open so I mean would you go back if they called? I would never say never. I don't say never to anything. I had a great experience on, um, and I'm going on Watch What Happens Live on Tuesday. So that'll be fun. I'm excited. I hope I remember how to do it. I really do. I'm actually getting nervous. Dorinda, um, I think you know how to do it. Yeah, I pray. Uh, but you know, the problem is, it's just there's so many questions about the current season and stuff. And I really, although I watch it, you know, I don't, I don't really, it's totally different. I don't know like the new girl, so I can't comment on it. And I wasn't there and it was COVID. And I just think that everybody did the best they could. I mean, that was, think about when they were filming. It's hard. I was going to say, I mean. It was terrible. October in New York last year. It was was desolate. It was bad. And to your point, this is a show where, you know, people are out. That's New York. We're at the bars. We're having our martini. That is what we do. People always ask me what my favorite. Huge, huge homes. I mean, I do think it would have been nice to be able to come to Bluestone Manor, right? That would have been, I think the audience would have enjoyed that just because it's comforting and it was familiar. But, um, you know, I have had, I, I don't have anything. I've had good experience there and I still have a very good relationship with the girls. I was going to say, you, I, you shouldn't worry about what I'm going to ask you on Watch What Happens. You'll be asked about the current season and Leah, who is the fans have turned against her for whatever reason. And I don't get ask, that. You don't? No. You know, I think people don't realize how hard it is to do this job and how much pressure you, you put on yourself. And like I said, it was a tough season. And, you know, people, I would love people to try to do it themselves. It, I, it's not you know it you know what you see margaret go through it. you see the girls go through it you see all of us go through it it you know i say hats off to all these girls that do this because you have to be pretty fucking brave to get out and put your life out there for the world to love hate take apart build up tear down you know what i'm saying so i always say hats off to these girls it is it's a very it takes a lot of confidence bravery and thick skin a lot of thick skin and it's literally so anyone out there not being nice to all my girls better watch out or i'm not gonna be not well bitch you heard it from dorinda not me this yes is, and this is not listen I, you know this is not a season good season bad season this is a franchise and it will just keep on moving and it will you know it's like life you're gonna have good times it's something are gonna be better and i'm sure it's all gonna work out in the the um scheme of things that's what I say. I'm like, I think it's a, people are overreacting. I mean, we've had this very other, much. the show is not going to crash and burn guys. It's a network. No. They'll, they'll figure it out. It's, it's not only a network. It's sort of iconic. New York housewives are iconic. Final two questions. What are you doing with Airbnb with you? Like people can come and stay there. Oh my God. I'm doing this partnership where they're going to do two one night stays. 
do you think you would ever get married again? Like if you fell in love? Yeah, I'd never say never. I would love to find a nice partner. I would love to find someone to enjoy my life with, you know, but you, it's going to take, you know, I think it's just when it's meant to happen, it'll happen. I do think there's going to be one more person in my life. I feel it. You do. I really do. Yep. I think there's going to be one more person that I'm probably going to spend, you know, the next part with. I'm very monogamous. I have never dated a lot of people. It's not my thing. I don't do well with dating. Like I'm not, a, I actually don't do well with small talk and stuff, stranger. I like to really get in there. You know what I mean? So I just think when the time comes, maybe, you know, after I've been on the league, you know, that, uh, that uh, app, the league, I've been on that. And it's really funny. Like I'll go on and I'll be all into it. And then you'll get all these responses. Like people say, Oh, I'd love to. I'm like, you know, I get scared almost. You do. I, I, I go on and I do that. And then I just vanish, not on purpose. I just get busy and I'm like, oh my God, it's like five weeks later. That's the thing. It just and someone's this like, the what? guy. this guy was like, I thought we were going to have a drink on Tuesday night. And I was like, I'm not going to have a drink with you. <laughs> that was so last Wednesday. That was on my second martini, honey. It all sounds good until the day comes, right? You're like, I'd rather stay home. I'm just going to really, I want to really enjoy this moment too with the book. And I, to tell you the truth, David, I really am. I said to someone the other day in the interview, like one of the things, what are the, one of the things you value the most? And I said, beside the obvious, obviously Hannah, my parents, blah, 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 health. But I really value my freedom. Like I do not answer to anyone right now. And I know probably deep inside that should cause me to be a little lonely. But I'm just not, I've been answering to people my whole life, my parents, my husbands, my dog, and I've loved it all. I've loved it all. But there's something absolutely incredible to just be able to say, you know what, I'm going to have a donut for dinner and just go to bed right now. 